you know, and we're talking a lot about grappling right now. And look, you're you're the best grappler in in the bantamweight division, bar none, hands down. We all know that. We, we've we've seen your fights. We know what you're capable of. But when you look at a guy like Jose Aldo, who has darn near bulletproof takedown defense. When you see him have such good success against guys like Frankie Edgar, even against Rob Font, Rob Font, for some reason, decided to go over a takedown early in round one. Is there something in his takedown defense do you feel like you could penetrate with your own game? Obviously, you don't have to say it all the way out loud because you don't want to reveal too much <laughs> stuff. But I just want to know, how do you? Do, is there anything about his takedown defense that kind of makes you a little, not question yourself, but just it, does it seem penetrable? Oh, 100%. I think the main thing that he does well is when you press him against the cage, he has a tendency to put, like, the side of his foot inside that, that crease line of the octagon, which keeps him pretty much mm -hmm. buried in there. And it's super hard to pull a guy off the cage when his feet are locked into the cage in between. It's almost like a wedge, mm. you're stuck in there. So you're fighting against gravity, you're fighting against their strength and everything to try to pull them, uh, pull them off the cage. So that's a lot of work and a lot of energy expenditure. My last fight, people could say whatever they want. Look at any of my other past performances. I've never looked that tired before. And for me to not eat what I've eaten on the day of the fight and, and fatigue that fast in a fight, I'm super confident that when I'm on, I can take anybody down in the world. And guys see me in training, guys see me sparring. I've rolled with Kiesa, I've rolled with bigger guys, smaller guys, and I, I truly do believe my grappling's um, second to none, and I, I can't wait to just prove it. And again, this is Jose Aldo's night, and uh, just want to talk about him and his performance, and he looked great, and I just can't wait to get the opportunity to compete against a legend like that. Well, you say that it's Jose's night, and we are talking about Jose, and Jose may fight TJ Dillashaw next, but listen, uh, you and Jan have already been going back and forth in social media. He blocked me. Oh, no! <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> so, so what, what, <laughs> what's been going on between the two of you in terms of, um, in terms of the buildup? How, well, how do you feel about this? Because it's gotten quite adversarial. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just both two high-level competitors, and we both really, really want to just shut the other person up. And I think that's what it comes down to. I come from a wrestling background. Rashad, you know the same. Um, Mike, I think you wrestled as well. So it just comes to you hear a little chirping. You want to just shut the other guy up and prove it on the mat. And I can't wait for the opportunity again to prove that I just had an off night. You know, and I think that's all it comes down to. I respect him, him, his family, everything that they've done. They worked hard to get to where they are. And at the end of the day, that's respectable. This is a hard sport. To even get to the top, the pinnacle, to even challenge for a world title, that's hard to do. So kudos to him to even get in there and get in the opportunity. And same for me. And I just can't wait to figure it out. Um, we, got a, we got a lot of unsettled business, and I can't wait to just shut that guy up for good. Oof. I mean, listen, hot I mean, here. <laughs> you've been here at the Apex Center almost every single time I come here. Uh, you've been out for a while. And you've been watching this competition. I know it's hard to sit out on the sidelines and watch the competition, but how has this made you better just sitting there analyzing all these different fights and all these different fighters in your weight class? I think it's great. I get an opportunity to watch all these guys, watch their styles, watch their tendencies, watch what they do well, and I'll be the first one to admit, I steal things from every single fighter, whether it's an Aldo, whether it's a Rob Font. Like today, we had sparring, and this was my third time sparring for the week, which I never, really, I never really do that, you know? But I'm feeling good, I'm in a great spot physically, and I can't wait to get back out there and compete. But for me to be able to do that, it shows where I'm at. And today, the, the main theme was straight punches, working on the output for jabs and crosses. And we had a great session today, just making sure the output was really high, getting ourselves tired. And I think that's the main thing, just taking things from everybody, seeing where you can adapt, where you can capitalize, see what you can do better. And the main thing, like guys like TJ, guys like even a Dominic Cruz, a guy like Aldo and uh, Piotr Jan, they're able to adapt in the middle of the fight. And I think that's the main thing that you have to be able to do at a very high level. If you can't do what you're doing for the game plan one, you have to have a game plan B, C, D, whatever, and be able to make those changes. Nice. It's a chess match. Nice, mm -hmm. love it. Well, listen, Aldo, I remember the first time talking to you backstage, you had a you had a bigger gold chain on, but I think it was fake. So now <laughs> I think you're wearing the real stuff. Oh, man. Oh, I love to no, see it. Okay, no, I love to see it. I love to see it. I'm saying now he's a champ. He's rocking the real stuff. Listen, I love it. Uh, I, I can't wait to see you back in action. Um, it was fake. Come it was, on. It was, it was, it was fake. Uh, Come on. Okay. Um, but I buy not, houses. I buy houses. It was me. He bought it on Canal Street in New York. If you know, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's great to see you, and we're really excited that you are on the mend. You're looking swollen. All your pictures you're posting on IG and looking ready to fight. So uh, looking forward to seeing you back in action. Thanks so much for joining us here.